Sa video ito guys ay tuturuan tayo kung paano mag-save ng pera, kung paano palaguin ang pera, at matutong i-manage kung meron tayo nito. So dito ay tatalakayin ko ang compound interest. Stay tuned and watch the video. Tulad na nakagawian, mag-define muna tayo ng mga terms na kailangan sa video na ito. Compound interest. It is the interest calculated on the initial principal, which also includes all the accumulated interest from previous periods of an investment or loan. Is known as interest on interest. Compound amount or maturity value. It is an accumulated amount obtained by adding the principal and the compound interest. Conversion period. The number of times in a year the interest will be compounded. It follows. M equals 1 if annually. M equals 2 if semi-annually. M equals 4 if quarterly. M equals 12 if monthly and others. Kasi meron din tayong compounded semi-monthly, weekly or even daily. Tulad ng mga housing loans, auto loans and etc. Next is number of conversion periods. It is the total number of times interest is calculated for the entire term of the investment or loan. It is N equals MT. Next is the annual interest rate or nominal rate. It is the stated rate per year. Next term is periodic rate. It is the interest rate per conversion period. Next is present value of F. This is the principal P that will accumulate to F if there is an interest at periodic rate I for N conversion periods. Ang compound interest class ay ihalintulad natin ang simple interest na kung saan yung tubo idadagdag sa principal upang tubuan ulit at idadagdag ulit sa principal upang mag-interest ito ulit. Kaya nga interest on interest. Illustrate natin siya sa isang problem. 50,000 pesos was loaned for a period of 3 years with 4% interest compounded annually. What amount of money needed to repay the loan? For the given, 50,000 for the principal rate is 4% or 0.04. Time is 3 years. Conversion is 1 annually and looking for the future value. Ayan guys, pinakita ko lang sa inyo ang manual computations ng compound interest. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala, hindi ganyan ang gagawin natin kasi meron tayong specific formula for compound interest. Try nyo guys, screenshot at makikita nyo na yung interest ay ipinapatong sa principal para pagcomputean ulit ng interest sa mga susunod pang period. At eto na nga yung mga formulas para mapadali ang ating computations. To find the future value, F equals P quantity 1 plus I raised to the N. Gagamitin yan sa annually. At paano naman kapag may conversions na semi-annually, quarterly at monthly? E di gamitin natin yung F equals P quantity 1 plus R over M raised to MT. Kapag principal naman ang inahanap, meron tayong P equals F quantity 1 plus I raised to the negative N or pwede ring P equals F quantity 1 plus R over M raised to negative MT. At kapag compound interest naman ang inahanap, isubtract lang natin yung future value and present value. Or meron din itong alternative solution depende sa availability of the given. Pakikopya nyo na lang yung nakared sa screen. At kapag R or rate ang nawawala, pakipost nyo ang video at kopyahin nyo ang nakared. At kapag time naman ang nawawala, nakared din o yung may logarithm, kopyahin nyo na rin. And take note nyo na rin yung ibig sabihin ng mga variables sa formula. IC for compound interest, P for present value of F, R for annual interest rate, T for time per year, M for conversion period, N for total number of conversion periods, N equals MT, and I equals periodic rate, where I is equal to R over M. 
Ngayon, try na natin sa problem 1 ang compound interest formula kung pareho na 56,243.20 cents ang ating sagot. Ang formula natin ginamit ay F equals P quantity 1 plus I raised to the N. Na kung saan ang P ay 50,000, ang I is equal to 0.04 at ang N equals 3. Kapag pinag-add natin yung 1 plus 0.04 is equal to 1.04. Kapag pinag-third power natin, ang sagot is 1.124864. At kapag pinag-multiply natin yan sa 50,000, ang sagot nga ay 56,243 and 20 centavos o equal na siya doon sa ating unang solution. Continue tayo sa ating problem number 2. Find the amount and interest earned of a deposited money amounted to 25,000 at 3.5% interest compounded quarterly for 2 years. For the given, P is 25,000, R is 3.5% or 0 0.035, T is 2 years, M conversion is 4 because quarterly, future value and in compound interest are unknown. Since the problem is looking for the future value and the problem has conversions, therefore, we will use the formula F equals P quantity 1 plus R over M raised to the M T. Okay, let us now substitute the givens on the formula. The principal is equal to 25,000 multiplied to quantity 1 plus our R is 3.5% or 0 0.035. The conversion is M, which is quarterly, divided by 4, raised to the MT. 4 times 2 years. Let us continue. 25,000. 1. If we will divide 0 0.035 divided by 4, the result is 0 0.00875. Then multiply 4 times 2, we have 8. 25,000. 1 plus 0 0.0875 is 1.00875 raised to the 8. We use scientific calculator 1.00875 raised to the 8 is 1.0722. Then, if we will multiply 25,000 and 1.0722 equals... 26,805. So, this is now our future value of the money invested at 25,000. We are looking for the interest also or the compound interest. The formula for compound interest is the future value minus the principal. Our future value is 26,805 minus its principal which is 25,000. If we will subtract them, so we have 1,805 pesos. So that is now our compound interest and our future value is 26,805. <laughs>
Problem 3, find the present value of 82,150 due in 3 years if the interest rate is 5% compounded monthly. Once again, the given R, future value is 82,150, rate is 5% or 0.05, time is 3 years, conversion M is monthly equals 12, present value is unknown. On the next problem, since we are looking for the principal and it has conversions, so we will, we will use the formula P equals F quantity 1 plus R over M raised to the negative MT. Okay, let us uh, proceed now. Substitute the future value of the money is 82,100. 50. 1, our R is 5% or 0 0.05 monthly divided by 12. So we have raised to negative 12. Then for 2 years. 3 years, I mean, sorry. 82,151. Plus, if we will divide 0 0.05 by 12, so we have 0 0.00417 from the calculator. Negative 12 times 3 is negative 36. Add inside the parentheses, so we have 1.00417 raised to the negative 36. By the help of the scientific calculator again, if we will raise 1.00417 to negative 36, the result is 0 0.8609. Rounded off na po siya. Then multiply 82,150 times 0.8609 is equal to 70,722 pesos and 94 centavos. So this is now our a present value. Problem 4. At what rate of interest compounded semi-annually will 31,400 pesos accumulate to 35,000 in three and one half years? Given principal is 31,400 pesos, time is three and one half years, conversion is M semi-annually equals to the future value is 35,000 pesos looking for the rate. On the next problem, uh, we are looking for the rate. So the formula for looking for the rate of compound interest is R equals M quantity F over P raised to the 1 over N minus 1 okay, close bracket. So let us uh, proceed now to substitution. The M is semi-annually, so it is 2. Future value is 35,000. P is 31,400. Raised to the 1 over N. N again is equal to MT. Conversion is same annually to how many years is 3.5 or 3 and 1 half years minus 1. Continue. 2. If we will divide 35,000 by 31,400, so the result is 1.11. 46 raised to the 1 2 times 3.5 is 1 over 7 minus 1 
Continue. Now, 1.1146 raised to the 1 over 7, again using the scientific calculator, so we have 1.0156. 1 minus 1. 2. If we will subtract 1.0156 minus 1 is the result is 0 0.0156. Multiply it by 2. So we have 0. Wow, ano to? 0 0.0. 312 Moving two places to the right So the rate is 3.12% For our last problem For how many years will it take 72,000 pesos to become 100,000 pesos at 9% compounded annually. Once again, the givens are B equals 72,000 pesos, M equals 1, F equals 100,000 pesos, R equals 9% or 0 0.09. Time is what are we looking for. Okay, the next, last but not the least problem is we are looking for the time. For how many years? So, the formula for looking the time is T equals log of quantity F over P all over M log of 1 plus I Okay, let us substitute the given on the uh, formula. So we have log of F is 100,000 and the present value is 72,000 all over M is 1 because it is annually. Log of quantity 1 plus the rate of interest is 9%, so it is 0 0.09. Equals 100,000 divided by uh, 72,000 equals 1.3. 889 from the calculator again. 1 times log is also log. No identity property. 1.09 is 1 plus 0 0.09 I mean is 1.09. Using again the scientific calculator, the logarithm of 1.3889 is 0 Point one four two seven log of one point zero nine is zero point zero three seven four. So if we will divide zero point fourteen twenty seven divided by zero point three seven four, the result is three point eighty two. Okay. So that is now our time. 3.82 years.